perusing the list of the latest $2.5 billion package of American military aid to Ukraine, major developments stand out. Dozens of Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, striker armored personnel carriers, and mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles are now all headed overseas. But an innocuous inclusion to the list also stands out. Alongside 20,155mm artillery rounds, the US is also sending 600 precision-guided 155mm artillery rounds, and that is significant. The guided round in question is the M982 Excalibur artillery projectile, a round only fired 1,400 times in combat to date. It's a very impressive munition. Excalibur rounds use extendable glider fins and GPS guidance to transform a dumb shell into a highly accurate all-weather weapon that can strike a target up to 35 miles away with an error radius of 13 feet. For comparison, normal shells can only be fired 15 miles with an error radius of 490 feet. Raytheon executives called this one-round-to-one-target feature a sniper-like capability. While normal artillery rounds are fired in a predictable, neat ballistic arc, the Excalibur's variable glide track resembles something you might ordinarily see on a far more expensive cruise missile. This is one of the major draws of the Excalibur. Its pinpoint accuracy means you don't need to use it to suppress enemy forces. You can hit them outright on the first try. This implies a lighter logistical footprint and the added benefit of firing at targets near friendly units without as much collateral damage. Excalibur shells can be programmed to detonate in the air over a target or penetrate them head on. They boast a success rate so impressive, it's been reported that one Excalibur projectile can accurately hit an intended target that would require the use of between 10 and 50 unguided artillery rounds. The Excalibur's GPS receiver is even jam-resistant, receiving in-flight guidance from its inertial navigation system. This should protect it from any Russian electronic warfare platforms. In Iraq, Excaliburs were used by the US Army to great effect. Thanks to its NATO standard size, they can be fired from M109A6 Paladins, British AS-90s, German PZH-2000s, the Polish AHS Crab, and Swedish Archer Howitzers, some of which have been generously donated for Ukrainian use. They can even be fired from towed American M777s and M198 Howitzers. Yes, Excaliburs are far more expensive than their traditional 155mm counterparts. It'll cost you a cool $68,000 to fire one compared to an $800 unguided shell. But it's far cheaper than expending a $150,000 HIMARS rocket on a smaller target. In that sense, what it lacks in affordability, it certainly makes up for in accuracy. Ukrainian units have been hunting Russian munitions supply depots and command centers for months now, benefiting from accurate Western intelligence and satellite imagery as they attempt to cripple the Russian war machine. Munition shortages have been reported on both sides, making it even more important to economize and prioritize fire missions for the most important targets. Excaliburs come in multiple variants to match the needs of your mission. Some have Enhanced Shaped Trajectory or EST software, designed to help attackers get the most out of their rounds by selecting the projectile's terminal final phase attack angle. Others have armor-penetrating warheads that even make use of proven Stormbreaker smart weapon design autonomously locating a target even if it's moving in a snowstorm. Laser-guided variants mitigate the risk of GPS jamming. There's even one you can fire from 5-inch naval guns at sea. In an interview with the TASS Russian state media, a high-ranking member of the Donetsk People's Republic Militia DPR, reiterated the lethality of the M982 Excalibur guided artillery shell. In his mind, the Excalibur was potentially the most dangerous part of the US military assistance to Ukraine. These munitions are equipped with a seeker and can adjust their flight path upon approaching the target. They are GPS and inertially guided. He added, claiming the DPR's best hope at mitigating the threat would be to destroy the rounds while stored in warehouses, they must be prevented from ever being delivered to firing positions. With artillery rounds being hurled across the front lines at an insane rate, the Ukrainians have already delivered devastating damage with the addition of the accurate M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, and the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, to their arsenal. Tens of thousands of 155mm howitzer rounds are being used each month by Ukraine's armed forces. They already possess the firing platforms to accommodate the Excalibur round, so it won't require any extra training or logistics. Decades of experimentation have gone into the Excalibur to perfect its use. Work began on the project in a partnered effort between BAE Systems and Raytheon. In the arrangement, BAE manufactured the base, body, and payload, 
while Raytheon worked on the projectile's guidance system. In 2004, the project merged with the Swedish-US program, and the first experimental firing took place in 2003. The United States doesn't plan on leaving its stocks of Excaliburs dry after their generous donation. It cost the Department of Defense a cool $92 million to replace its first series of donated shells back in September 2022. The ability to guarantee the destruction of a single target, tank, bunker, or supply depot using a single well-placed artillery round will become even more significant as the war drags on. The M982 Excalibur's trajectory adjustable glide slope and 7-foot strike zone opens up a whole host of new offensive possibilities. Luckily for the Ukrainians, this type of shell won't only come from the United States, with Germany donating several hundred Volcano 155mm guided shells. Together, these one-round, one-kill weapons will strike terror on the battlefield as long as stocks remain filled and Russian targets expose themselves to danger. Now, why not check out why didn't more Germans resist Hitler? Or click this video instead.